So we're in Great Harwood again today for like a transport show. Lots of buses, a few trucks and stuff. And here in this section, I thought we'd take a look around the classic cars. Uh, just admiring this old Dennis fire truck. Well, cool. Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service. It's quite amazing, really, when you get to see, like, with all the shutters up and stuff, looking at all the tools. We've got the old uh, Land Rover. We'll take a look at that Scania T cabin that Peter built and stuff later. Look at this old bus turned into like a tow truck. What an amazing bit of uh, well, listening to Edge FM, the transport weekend at the Great Harwood Showground. This is just a uh, reminder if uh, anybody wants a ride on the red bus at the bottom of the field where this bus will be parked to do the shed tour of the town and district. Shed at 1pm. Thank you. Here we are, cool old little Morris Minor 1000. This is my uncle's hobby, these cars. Buying and restoring these. I've got to admit, I do love the characters of these Morris Miners. In fact, today, my uh, daughter's actually gone with my auntie and uncle to a show up in Morecambe, and they've took the uh, small pink Morris Minor, which they took to the Jubilee. So I think my daughter, We'll be enjoying that, riding out in that, spending time with Auntie Janet. Look at this old Vauxhall Astra, Mark II. This is sort of the era of where it all began for me with cars, with stuff like this. And the Triumph Acclaim here. I mean, look at the condition of this. And we're proud to keep our Subarus clean and looking fresh. But look at this. Look at that for a clean, tidy engine. Mate. Imagine this, chaps. If this were a Subaru, now it'd be all rotten out round here, wouldn't it? Take a leaf out of this guy's book. Look at it. It's like pristine, like showroom condition. Look at this. Old RS3000. I think we might have seen this at um, previous shows but then again we get to quite a few shows recently where there's lots of classics but it's always nice to appreciate look at that with the AP racing brakes and everything look at this classic TVR here lovely machines aren't they classic cars I don't know the new stuff they're all cool and yeah they're powerful and everything else but Let's not forget the classics are best. And look at this Jensen Interceptor. Wow. It really is stuff that you just don't see on the roads anymore at all. Another little moggy. Minor 1000 van. The little tiny mirrors. Another Minor 1000, the wife's cropped a Mustang here, she's a bit of a Mustang fan. Oh, look at this old Volvo. Very nice. Oh, is yours that Camaro there? No, Oh, right, there's a picture of your other one. The gentleman's just kindly unlocked to let us take a peek in the um, Mustang. It says it's a V6, six-speed auto. Nice. It actually looks a, a very cosy place to sit and drive, doesn't it? He's um, just going to pop the hood for us and uh, take a little look at the engine bay. Jeez. Still a huge lump, isn't it, for a V6? Yeah. Massive, it's got the depth on it as well. Wow, look at that for a block. That's a big giant heavy duty Dodge Ram. Look at the size of this. 
little ram's head there, that's cool. Julie. Still have a big Cummins engine in this thing. It'll be a monster. Perfect tour vehicle. I mean, credit to these guys that keep these wheels clean like this. The size of the pipes. Here we have a pair of General Lees. Nice. Bo, Luke and Daisy Duke. <laughs> Classic Dodge Chargers. Wow. Got the uh, Confederate flag there on the roof. And a couple of waspies, which also like it. The moonshine box there. <laughs> oh, Roscoe. I do like the wheels on these. This with a crash bar. You yeah, know, this is uh, quite a lot of shows we get to, this. But the old Beetle. I don't think this is actually patina. I think it's been painted like this. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they'll flatten them down and let them rust naturally. Do you know? Yeah. Like surface rust. Well, nice eyes, this. You never see is like, an old beetle done in like the herbie livery. Oh, look at like the little eyes. Yeah, the little covers on the eyes. They're cool. The lights, babe, not eyes. Look at the ladybug there. So it's old Ford Capri. My dad used to banger race these. They'd come in scrapyard and he'd basically do what they do with bangers and just rip them out. And then next day they'd be out at Wharton, it were then. Another mine a thousand. And the old Triumph, little MG, beautiful. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a little MG owners club here. Very nice. Oh, this is a pretty little thing. Yeah, look at this. Little midget. Wow, Ford F100. Look at the side, look at... Look at that V8 motor. <laughs> Dollars clipped on there for tips. Nice Honda motorcycle there in the back. Old Jag. Not sure what this is. I think it's a Ford. Old style F-150 there. And then this, it's like a, a mater from cars. That Lotus. It's an old Cortina, another Cortina. Driving style. 52,000 miles. The old Volvo. Another little MG here. A little Roadster. And another one. Quite popular with the MGs here today. This is the minor police car you're on about, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This guy's just uh, 
fire up his um, Camaro here. Look at the fans spinning there. Jeez. A big V8. I like the colour. I do like the colour. Look at fans spinning, it's open fan, that's why. Yeah, 6.3 litre V8. Yeah, the a uh, working project. Look at this, Lotus here. Wow. What a car. Wow. That, the headrest there. Jeez, I used to think I was sat on the floor in my type R down there, but wow. <laughs> Ford Granada. Ooh. Old Anglia. Another one leaving. Proper retro 90s car there. 80s, 90s. And look at this old thing. Wow. Jeez. Somewhere they, they carry the spare wheel. Plymouth. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the chap were telling me with this, he uh, commissioned it in 2000 and then got it back on road. He's done a grand job with it, with restoration. And finally, an Impreza. Apparently you can just drive in and turn up for this and we've parked out there on the main road. Had I have known, I would have just come and parked up with this chap. But, never the mind. But yeah, we've uh, always got the same amount of fuel left as us. <laughs> just less than a quarter of a tank. Oh yeah, this we see this at the shores quite regular. Yeah, Impreza is definitely my favourite, but I really, really do appreciate like all of this. So that's the cars here at the uh, transport show. Uh, probably gonna have a wander around now, look at a few buses and. I, I don't know if you guys are interested in the buses and the trucks and stuff, but I am. And once my video's out, I can look back on it as memory days. So if you're not into buses and stuff, then you don't need to continue watching, do you? Reminds me of Italian job, this. I don't think it was the sort of coach that was in Italian job. I think it was actually a bit longer, but this is a Western Welsh, but I don't know, it's got that all Italian job vibe about it. National. I remember my dad buying me a little toy bus when I was a kid in the National livery. I don't know if it was this sort of bus, but I remember the National, his friend used to drive for him. And then you got the old stagecoach livery there. Everyone just relaxing on bus, enjoying the picnics and stuff.
But this is the bar. Well cool bar, innit? Yeah, I love it. I looked at this on my in. They're amazing. A Leyland boot. A giant Peterbilt. Wow. I'm building a Kenworth W900 at the minute, that custom truck. And I've got some of these for that, for the RC one. They're about that big. <laughs> Look at the size of them air cans in real life. I don't think they'll mind if we... Uh... Guess what? Oh. Look at that. Wow. Not easy shifting gears and knees. Little bedroom in the back. Top line 770S with a T series. Wow. Uh, big pipes up the back there. I do apologise for um, this music there. It, I'm not going to lie, it's getting a little bit annoying. Oh, is this a Mac? Whatever it is, this is a ballast truck for the old heavy haulage. Listen to that engine. Scania 143. Remember my dad having one of these in yellow. And some little owls. I mean, absolutely credit to the owners that keep these old vehicles running. I'd rather these over the electric modern crap any day of the week. Scania Tipperia. Bear in mind, a lot of these are actually working trucks. Oh, he's left his keys in. Wow, it's only a 410. Pulling bolt loads. Oh, surprise, surprise. Look who's in here. Look who's in here. <laughs> yeah, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> if you can do it. So can I. Wow. Don't you feel high up? Yeah, I feel like I'm uh, in an episode of uh, London's Burning right now. Must be amazing driving these in an emergency. Yeah. With that blue lights and... I don't know if we have the same like rules here in England though, because... In America, if someone's blocking your way and stuff, you have the rights just to go through them and just shunt them off the road. And that's probably there just to hold on while like they <laughs> on one. Yeah, cool. Yeah, now. Yeah, I'm like a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more Subaru issues, but never the mind. A little bit of history. <laughs> that 
Try a big, could I have a look in there, please? Two Big Macs for £2.50. I'm not sure I want to check what's in there, you know what I mean? Because I remember wow. I came here last year and it was here, and were, you know what I mean? Selling. I love all this vintage stuff. So that is, uh, well, this is the transport show. That, it's been a lovely afternoon, nice couple of hours. Lots of great history lessons from people. I uh, just had a lovely day. It's been nice. Yeah, <laughs> sirens, sirens. <laughs> We're like kids, really. We are uh, <laughs> getting the sirens put on. <laughs> 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 I've got to admit, this is a cool bit of kit. It just drains after a while. This guy making counterfeit money. Yo, that's well dodging. Not legal tender. Music of the old fairgrounds. I can almost guarantee you that the Kenworth would have opened that up and give us the owns, but we've got GGs in the field there, so you, you have to respect the animals. Yo, Mr. E.T.